Hi and welcome back to the ultimateappmaker.com. So in the last video we made, we did a simple website conversion, or web, simple mobile website conversion to a mobile app. And in this video here, I want to take you down a different path because I know sometimes Apple can be a bit, uh, a bit stingy with what they approve. And sometimes when you do a mobile site conversion to an app, they deny it right away. So what we want to do is we want to add a couple more features to make it actually seem and feel like an app. That way Apple will approve it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So let's go to the app builder here. Okay, let's go to a, a blank mobile template. And rather, last video we did the, the mobile app blank. What we're going to do, we're going to choose the one above it. And we're going to go with that menu at the bottom. Okay, so let's hit select. And we'll use this template. And we'll do mobile for Apple. Okay. We'll create. We'll keep it as iPhone. And we'll just do standard tabs. Okay, we don't have any uh, splash screen or icon created, so I'm just going to skip through this step here. Okay, so you can see the template we're working with here. Okay, so let's go to Edit Pages. And for the first tab, we're going to make this one the, the mobile website. That way, when you first log into the app, you see the mobile website, because that's obviously what we want anyways. So let's go convert here. Let's go copy this link. Let's go here. Actually, the first thing we need to do is convert this page. We'll convert this to mobile. Okay, and that's created. And you can see we click on this WordPress site, it goes there. I already copy pasted that website. We're going to use the same one as the last video, the Spray Foam Insulators Calgary. We're going to load that in there. We're going to hit save. Let that load up for a second. And then we're going to hit done. So if we go back there, Let this load back up again. Sometimes these mobile websites don't show up right away in the in the in the previewer, so we just gotta kind of get it uh, go get it going. So yeah, the mobile website it's gonna work exactly like it did before in the other video. If you click down here, you can go to these different pages. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys that really quickly, in case you didn't watch the other video. Okay, so now we've got these three other tabs. What we'll do is if we create tab number two, we'll just basically take information from the website here. We've got, you know, an About Us page. We've got Contact Us. We've got social media pages. Those are the different things we're going to stick in this app. So if we go here, let's say they got a YouTube channel. We can put a YouTube channel in. You know, we've got tons of different options. But for this one here, let's go to Convert Page. And we want to do a form. Okay, this is going to be allow people to contact us by email. No, we don't want form. Um, I think it's about about us. Yeah, this is the one we want. Okay, we're going to convert. Okay, so you can see here, very simple. We're going to actually. Oh, what do we want to keep? Let's just delete all these. Okay, delete that. Delete this. Delete the address, delete phone number, delete website address. So we're left with this. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take this content here, right here, copy that, go back to the app builder here, and then uh, let's just simply highlight all this. So what I did is I clicked on this editor here at the top of the toolbox. This allows us to basically copy all this text and edit this text right here. So let's delete that and then paste it in. So there we go, we've got the About Us page, all created. I just pasted that text and stuck it in there. So we'll hit Save, we'll hit Done. Okay, so you can see, there we go, we've got two pages. We've got the mobile website, we've got the About Us page. What we need to do now is stick in this third tab. Okay, so for the third tab, let's see what kind of options they have on their website. Oh, we've got the RSS feed, LinkedIn, Facebook. What we'll do is let's do a Facebook conversion. So we'll click on Facebook here. 
Okay, so let's click on this tab three. Let's go edit this tab. And we'll go to convert. And what we'll do, we'll type in Facebook. This is okay, it's gonna display a mobile Facebook web page. Okay, click on this, click convert. Go back here, so we got the Facebook page open. Let's copy this in. Go back to the app builder. Delete that, we don't need that stuff. There we go, hit done. Okay, so we got the Facebook page, we got the About Us, we got the mobile website. The last thing we could do, we could do uh, a sharing option, we could do a contact us option. We got a ton of different options we could do. Personally, what I like to do, we're just going to keep this really simple, is let's go to edit this tab first of all. And let's do the sharing. That way their members can, and can share this. But you could do anything you want. Well, here, let's go share um, social. Okay, so go to grid view. Let's see where this share is. Okay, so... Scroll down. Let's find this share. I mean, we can even do a calculator. We could do a calendar. We could do a note some sort of chat you know we could do an email system you know we got tons of different options what we could actually stick in here we could do a Google map if we wanted to do one of those we got lots of options okay so or here it is app share so click on that you know we could do Instagram if they have an insta if they really do a lot of Instagram marketing we can stick that in there Again, if they have a YouTube channel, we can stick that in there. We got lots of options for this fourth page, which is really nice. If they go to blog, we could do the blog reader. Uh, but I like this one. keeps it simple. All we need to do is stick in the, the app icon when you get one of these made. Uh, just stick this in here. You can change this icon photo here. And then the description of the website, you know, share. Please share this with your friends. Okay, so there we go. Click on the links above. Okay, so what we need now is, what you're gonna do, you're gonna publish this app first, and then you're gonna need to get the iPhone uh, link, you know, where your actual link to the iPad, iPhone store, and stick it in here, that, that link here. And then same with Google Play. Once you get that Google Play link, you're gonna stick it in here, because that's what they're actually sharing here. They're sharing the link to your app. So that's why it, you can't do this, you can't finish this off right away, but you can at least stick the, uh, that, page together for right now while you publish it. So we'll hit done. So we save and then done. And the next thing we're going to want to do is change the icons. So we'll hit done out of these pages here. And then all we need to do is go to navigation settings. And you can see we can uh, change this one. We'll want to do home. We'll want to do about us. Okay, this one here is Facebook, and this one is Share. Okay, so what we need to do now is just find some icons. Uh, I've provided, we, in the members area, there's a link for the icons. If you have icons, you can use those here. It's basically, just click on this, and you can just upload those icons right into here. Really simple to do. But let's hit Save, hit Done. I'm not going to change those icons for this video. I just want to quickly show you how to guys how to fire this app together. And then what you can do is preview it on the iPhone Previewer app or download the SDK file for your Android device and you can preview it. Otherwise, what we need to do is if you want to have the same app on all your devices, you can. Just hit Duplicate. Okay, right now it's on iPhone. Let's say we want to duplicate it for the iPad. We can do that. Duplicate it. Boom, that easy. Hit Done. And we're ready to go. We can just publish this app and it, it's good to go. Maybe what we want to do is, is change the icon and the splash screen. You can do that by clicking at the top there. But uh, other than that, so this is how you just do a simple conversion from a mobile website to an iPhone app. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.